God's plan for your life is good. God has a good plan for your life. Can you say amen to that? He really does. He loves you whether you believe it or not. God's chosen you and he's appointed you to be alive at this time. He wants you here. You're not a mistake. You have a role to play and he has something that only you can do that he has got lined up for you. And it's a really good plan for your life. But Satan also has a plan, doesn't he? And his plan is to destroy our lives. He wants to steal. The Bible says he comes to steal and kill and destroy. But Jesus comes to bring us full life. Life in all its fullness and abundance. And that's what we want. Now, have you heard about a guy called Job? Job was around thousands of years ago. And he was, he was a very blessed guy. And he was um, an upright man, the Bible says. And he was a good man. And he was, he was known in a wide area as being somebody that was wealthy and well respected. He had virtually everything that you could want. He had wealth, he had servants, he had family and he was enjoying his life. He was very blessed. And one day, and it's kind of weird this story, but one day um, the Bible says that Satan actually starts chatting or talking to God on this day and God is saying to Satan look at my servant Job you know he's he's a good man and he worships me he praises me and Satan says well I'm not surprised because look you've blessed him in all these different ways and you know if you if if you were to remove all those good things from his life he would just curse you that's what Satan starts saying to God so God actually allows Satan to remove things and as we said before, Satan comes to steal, kill and destroy and um, God allowed Satan to um, wipe out some of Job's family or basically his family, his children, um, his livestock, took his wealth, his servants. He was, I mean everything was taken away from Job, he had nothing left. And yet he still prays God. But Satan then, God says to Satan, you can um, do what you like, but do not kill him. So Job ends up without anything and he has all these painful sores all over his body from head to toe. He's covered in these, in these painful sores. And um, he's sitting there and his friends start talking to him. You can read this in the book of Job. So... You might be able to relate to this. Anybody watching, can you relate to things going wrong in your life? And you just think you you think you're doing your best. You you maybe you're you know you you a good person, just like Job. You're doing all the right things, and yet somehow something goes wrong. You either you get sick, or somebody else in your family gets sick, or your finances dry up, or um, somebody dies in your family, a loved one just things come against you and you're just thinking what is going on that's just how job is feeling he was everything he couldn't get any worse than job everything was was gone and he was in a lot of pain as well and disfigured from all these sores i'm sure now when something like this happens to you when things happen sometimes you you might have a, a time where not just one thing happens but it's like everything seems to happen at once and sometimes we go through that don't we i know we've had times like that where everything just that could go wrong seems to go wrong and you don't know why and you think why god why is that going on well i've got some keys for you that are really going to help you in this and basically you have a choice so when things go wrong which they do don't they let's face it we're all living in this earth and things go wrong things come against us but when they do you have a choice as to what to do about it and what you come into agreement with is so so important and I can't stress this enough that you have the choice to come into agreement with Satan's plan for your life which is to steal from you and to destroy your life and to kill you or you can come into agreement with God's good plan for your life which is to bless you, he's got a hope and um, a good plan, plans to prosper you and to give you a hope and a future, a good future. But you have to decide who you're going to agree with and this is really important. Now, 
in, um, let me see, Job chapter 3, verse 25. This is really interesting because we're reading through Job, we get to chapter 3, and this is what Job actually says out loud. He says, what I feared has come upon me, what I dreaded has happened to me. Now that's interesting. So all this bad stuff is happening to Job. He's a good man and yet he's actually saying what I feared has come upon me, what I dreaded is happening to me. Now that is a key for us, we can learn from this. It's really important to get this. So when bad things are happening, we have a choice. Who are we gonna come into agreement with? Is it gonna be Satan and his bad plan for our life? Or is it gonna be God's good plan? Now very often Satan comes to us through evil spirits that work for Satan, okay? So you might have an evil spirit come to you and you might not realize, very often evil spirits, they come against us but we don't always realize it's an evil spirit. Sometimes we just think it's our own thought. Sometimes it could be a symptom in your body or in a loved one's body or something happening, some, it's circumstances or a thought in your mind that is happening and it might be, it might look to be a fact that you have a lump in your body that should not be there or you have a problem with finances or relationship troubles or whatever it might be is coming against you but that is Satan's plan for your life and now if you start to believe that thing and come into agreement with it it's actually empowering Satan's plan in your life and it's very difficult to stop that until you break that agreement which we're going to do um, in a short while now in Matthew 18 this is interesting in Matthew chapter 18 Jesus is talking here and he's basically saying that if two of you on earth agree about anything it will be done by it will be done for them by my father in heaven Jesus says if two of you on earth agree about anything it will be done for them by my father in heaven now that's powerful and very often we read that verse and we think that's great um, you know we can get together in twos or in with our friends and we can pray and say God we're asking for this and we, let it be done and we can have confidence that if we're, we're praying according to his will in our life that we find out through the Holy Spirit then it will be done however the converse is also true so if and I think this ha what happened with Job that I think an evil spirit can come to you and put a thought or some fear into your heart or um, some situation into your life evil it comes to an evil spirit it comes through from the enemy not God and if you come into agreement with that so if you speak that out if you start to do something that's agreeing with that situation that health issue whatever it is in your life you're actually coming into agreement with that evil spirit or with the enemy so that means that, that's two of you on earth. Now listen, when, um, when Satan goes before God and he's talking to God about Job, it says that Satan was roaming the earth, he was on the earth and then he goes before God. So evil spirits, they roam the earth. Satan himself roams the earth looking for people, looking for situations that they can, um, they wanna bring in Satan's plan. Evil spirits wanna bring in Satan's plan into your life. They will attach themselves, they will speak, they will bring symptoms. And um, and I think with Job, that's what happened. And he actually came into agreement with that fear because he said, the thing that I feared has happened to me. It's taken place in my life. He came into agreement with Satan and it meant that Satan was able to go from the earth to God and say, Job is in agreement with me. So, you know, God actually says, the Bible says that the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he's put into the hands of men. So that means we have authority on the earth through Jesus. So if Satan comes to you and you start, or an evil spirit comes to you, and you start believing what he's saying or showing you in your body or circumstances, then he has the ability to go to God and say, look, so-and-so is now in agreement with me. And God then says, well, you have... Um, opportunity there to do something you're able to do something God permits it to happen because he's given us the authority and if we don't take that authority over the enemy that God has given to us through Jesus 
then that thing can happen to us and it can take a hold of our lives. And then we're wondering, why, why is this thing happening? Why are all these bad things happening? And um, in Matthew 18 again, in verse 18, Jesus says, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And what we can do is we can actually bind those things from happening. So if an evil spirit comes to you and starts whatever he's doing with your mind, you, you know, your thoughts, your body, your loved ones, your situation, your circumstances, you can then um, say, no, I'm not having that. I bind that thing from happening in my life. And instead you come into agreement with God's plan for your life and you loose that <laughs> into your life or into your loved one's lives or whatever it is that you're going for. And that is so, so powerful. And um, well, I just pray right now that God just speaks to you because I'm not very good at kind of getting things across, not the way that the Holy Spirit does. So I look, I ask the Lord that you would use my words that you would use your scriptures, Father God, and I pray for all of those watching right now, that you would open their eyes, and mine too, and our ears, and our hearts, just to see and to hear and understand everything that you are revealing to us at this time, because we wanna really move in power and authority, and we want to, we don't wanna live like we've lived before, we don't want, we're fed up really, who's fed up of just living um, under your circumstances, things happening, and you have no control over them. But actually, through Jesus, through submitting our lives to Jesus um, and what he did on the cross for us, we can actually take authority that he gives us and we can move in power in our own lives and in other people's lives too. So um, shall we pray together? Would that be a good idea? Because... Um, I think it'd be good for us just to ask God to forgive us for coming into agreement with things. So I know some of you um, have um, like ill health, you've got things, you're in pain, you've got um, disabilities, some of you have cancer, you have things coming against you physically or your loved ones or problems, any kind of problems, relationship, marital, financial, um, looking for a job, things like that. And really, you know, I think it would be good if we can just recognise and just say, Lord, I'm sorry for actually coming into agreement with the plans of the enemy in my life. And then and we'll pray together. Is that okay? Would you like to do that? So why don't we just ask the Holy Spirit to show us right now. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would show us, just shine your light into our hearts and just highlight to us anything that we've come into agreement with that is from the enemy, that is not your will. And just show us those things, Father. We don't wanna be praying against your will, so we wanna know from you, Holy Spirit, what is it that I have come into agreement with that is from the enemy? So as you're saying, say it out loud if you can, as you're speaking that out or praying that out, then just allow him to show you. And usually the first sort of things that come into your mind or things that pop into your head, um, or it might, you might suddenly feel a pain in your body or something and you think, oh yes, I've got that thing that needs dealing with. Just, that's the Holy Spirit showing you that you've come into agreement with the enemy's plan over that. So now we're gonna pray out together. We're gonna to say, Father God, please will you forgive me for coming into agreement with Satan's plan for my life, specifically, and then just tell him what exactly what it was that you've come into agreement with. Maybe you've, um, you've got ill health and you are speaking out, and you're telling people what you've got and you're not getting rid of that thing or you're taking medication for something that you shouldn't be or you don't need to be. Now I'm not saying don't take your medication, I'm saying that it can be you come into agreement with something by taking medication. So you need to talk to your doctor before you do anything. But just recognise what it is that you've come into agreement with. Maybe fear has come in, just like Job. You know, he said, the things that I feared have happened to me. So if you've begun to fear, maybe there's like a generational thing in your family and you've feared it, it could be an addiction or some disease or whatever, and you've got that thing in your mind think, making you feel like 
that might happen to me or my family or that is fear from the enemy it's a spirit of fear and if you come into agreement with it it empowers it in your life and actually things can start taking place in your life that we're not going to but because you've got that fear and you're coming into agreement with the spirit the evil spirit of fear that thing will start happening so you want to break agreement so father forgive us for coming into agreement with the spirit of fear the lying deceiving spirits satan's plan for my life forgive me for coming into agreement with those things and i break them off right now you can say that too i break them off in the name of jesus I renounce Satan's plan for my life specifically and then just name it and shame it just speak it out the lie that such and such is going to happen to me or the lie that I have got such and such or that I'm never going to amount to much or I'm not gonna be able to pay my bills or whatever it might be just renounce those lies of the enemy and break agreement with the enemy over those things just speak it out now in the name of Jesus and say I come into agreement with God's good plan for my life and I agree that I am fearfully and wonderfully made I agree with Jesus in Luke 10 where he says that he's given us it's Luke 10 19 Jesus says I give you authority and power over all over evil spirits, so scorpions and snakes, and sicknesses, that all means, and over all the power of the enemy. So say, I come into agreement with Jesus when he says that he's given me power and authority over all the power of the enemy, that nothing shall harm me. And I declare that in the name of Jesus. I declare that for you right now as you're watching. And just as you're speaking these things out, just tell those things to go. So we tell sickness to go anything in your body that needs to go just tell it to go right now in the name of Jesus just say go in Jesus name pain go and we just re well I I release the healing power of Jesus you just receive it into your body the power of Jesus over your finances your relationships your health your family's well-being and receive it now in Jesus name wow so make sure you let me know what happens because as you're doing these things you'll find that this can really change your life